Task F3. Inspect, adjust, and replace alternator drive belts, pulleys, tensioners, faulty connectors, and test the charge wire for high resistance. Undercharging as well, as overcharging may cause engine performance problems including hard starting or battery gassing and corrosion concerns. A defective diode in the alternator may allow enough AC voltage leakage into the electrical system to disrupt normal computer operation. Test the alternator with a multimeter or lab scope for excessive AC voltage output. If alternator output is zero, the alternator field circuit may be open. If no charging current is measured at the battery, the fusible link or wire between the alternator output terminal and positive battery cable is probably open or has high resistance. If the alternator output is less than specified, always be sure that the belt is not slipping and belt tension are satisfactory. On some alternators, there is a method of fulfilling the unit using a scanner. This will bypass the ACM or built-in regulator circuit and full alternator output will be obtained. Again, a loose belt causes low alternator output and a discharged battery. A voltage drop test between alternator charge terminal and battery positive should be done to check for high resistance. If more than 400 millivolts is present, then there is a problem. Check wires for burned or melted conditions. Check connector ring terminals for loose retaining nuts, which cause high resistance or intermittent open circuits. Sulfated or white corrosion on terminals results in high resistance or an open circuit, 